in this New Testament of God, everybody is reading it correctly. But the way to understand it, several people don't understand it like that. The way by which you should listen and understand people are not receiving it in order to understand it. For what reason? By reading the Bible and to get understanding, you should be there, present. What do you mean by someone reading the Bible and he's standing there, he's present there? Someone who is there reading and all his ideas are elsewhere thinking about different problems, he has done something and he's thinking about all those things, he is not present reading the Bible. Before understanding the Bible, you should be reading and be active and present there. All your heart should be present. When preaching the gospel, all your heart should be there. Before being the one that is listening and understand. Truly, I tell you, I'm talking about what I have seen. It's not according to the hearsay, but I saw and am giving testimony of it. I'm showing what I know. But you don't receive my testimony. This one shows that he has come in order to recognize him. After knowing him, we should receive him. After receiving him, the promise of God should be accomplished upon us. Because it's the only one by which we can pass to become the offspring, offspring of Abraham. We Gentiles, we unbelievers on the earth, it's a through this only one that we should pass to become the offspring of Abraham. Because the offspring by which you should pass is Jesus Christ. Through this one, we should transform the whole world to the offsprings of Abraham. This promise has been, have been made since Eden Garden when he was speaking to those people at that time. He set up what will put end to our sins since those days. When the time comes, the lady gave birth to the son, and he did all our salvation work. And Jesus Christ was progressing. In verse 12, if you don't have belief in the urban things, 
What about the heavenly one? When I have told you about the earthly things while talking about heavenly things, how can you believe? And he added a very big word from the beginning of verse 13. No one has ascended into heaven but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man, who stay, who dwell in the heaven. Do you see how the Christian used to speak? No one has attended, ascended from heaven. But uh, the only son that the world in the sun comes from heaven. His descent from heaven on the earth, no one has seen him. They don't he see him physically descending, but he descended. And he was given birth as a baby. The one who gave birth to him didn't know that he comes from heaven. But the miracle that human being has never seen happen in her life. Given the word to Mary, saying that this son will be the king and his kingdom will be forever. He who governed on this earth and his government never get to the end. That will never get to the end. We are preaching this one all over the world. We are waiting for it or for his advent. At that time, he knew what is in advent coming. Till the angel was uh, transmitting the message, saying that the son that will be trod, will be given birth to, will be called Emmanuel. That means, really, the Lord has come paid visit to us. He who saw him while descending, and he knew that he descended on the earth, earth and enter the place that she should enter and got our flesh as human being and was born because if he didn't take this flesh by coming no one can see him that's why he transmitted by flesh in coming on this earth. If we give you earthly testimonies while giving you back for heavenly, how can you believe? The Son of Lord that abides in the heaven who comes from heaven. While he was teaching his disciples, he used to express his word to them. I don't belong to this world. I'm not of this world. A little while, 
I will ascend from the place that I come from. When he was preaching over these things, no one understood him. And he showed them. As Moses lifted up serpents in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Because of what? God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but to have eternal life. Why Moses lifted up serpent in the wilderness? He lifted, he lifted up servants in the wilderness because sins is recalling his uh, amen. And they were searching what can help them to be saved from sins and they were searching it. Because after growing, a, growing against Moses, the seven were sent and uh, by them. Moses, Moses addressed a prayer and talked to God. And ordered him to make an iron serpent and set it up. He who was beaten by the serpent, after observing, after seeing this iron serpent, will be healed. He won't die anymore. They see, they observe the serpent, and they get healing. He addressed the serpent to them and remove this hell. Scars fall upon them, and God remove again the scare, the curse. This is the work that God did in the wilderness. Jesus says that he will, be, he will be lifted up as this serpent and all those who are sinners, once they see him over the cross, they will get salvation. For whoever believes to get everlasting life. What God did through love, it is He sent His Son, and He who observed Him, listened to Him, and practiced His words, He will get salvation. Verse 17 said, God didn't send his son into the world not to condemn the world. 
that the light has come into the world and people and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil it, it's a judgment that the light have shown up and uh, people prefer darkness instead. Because everyone who does evil hates light. He never show up in the light because his deeds will be exposed. Because the word of God is light by reading the words by listening to the gospel of God you will, you will be seeing, you will be observing all the mistakes that you did from your adolescence till you are mature. Was it justice? Was it injustice? You will be observing everything through it. His words reveal what human being is. Is someone preaching the gospel to you? Yes, what the Lord here? Is it you yourself reading the Bible? I not to but the Azam Bore at the Azam Bore and the book of the man. You will be observing how you mistaken by using your life. Verse 21 said, Mette to do this on his own. But he who does what is true comes to the light. That it may be clearly seen that it is deed. Because all those deeds were applied, complied with God's laws. After Jesus Christ declared all those words, we saw John bearing testimony on favor of uh, Jesus before everybody. After Jesus Christ gave both instructions, he went to Judea. After reaching that location, he remained with them doing baptism to people. John also was baptizing where there is much water they were doing baptism to people. And people were coming to them at that location. Let us pay attention to verse 23. Jesus Christ was baptizing. John the Baptist was baptizing also. Where is much water? But they didn't say here in the temple. They didn't say that they dig a pool in the temple, putting water in it, and immersing people, doing baptism there. No. They didn't put water in a bowl, sprinkling water over the head, making, making a sign. It is not. 
testify something like that here. Well, well, there was much water. The other baptism that you are doing, or you are doing, what kind of pattern do they see? He who wants to be saved. He who wants to be saved should take the example of Jesus Christ's deed. Everything he did, we should take example after this one. Verse Read it correctly. Read it correctly and think it over and observe the whole world and see the different practice of the world. Because John was not put in jail at that time yet. At that time, a discussion arose between John's disciples and the Jew over purification. And they brought the subject to John and told him, Oh, Rabbi. He who was with you beyond the Jordan, and you bore witness before him to us, take heed, he was baptizing people, and a lot of people were going to him. At that time, John told them that, no one can receive anything except what is given him from heaven. Verse 27, let everybody stress this one and feed it over throughout his life. Except what is given him from heaven. So we are born with things from heaven. But many And no one can become anything here unless he brought it from heaven. If he was given from heaven. So there is something that used to be given to us from heaven. You are my witness. And I say that I am not the Christ, the Savior. But I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. But I am a friend of the bridegroom. By hearing him, the voice of this bridegroom, I rejoice greatly. He must increase, but I must decrease. And John added in verse 31st and said, he who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth. 
And of the earth he speaks. He who comes from above is on earth. Who has come from above and reigned over everything? It is Jesus Christ. Verse 32 said, He bears testimony, he bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one received his testimony. He bears witness bluntly of what he has seen before God and received from God, but no one believed received his testimony. And the word continues saying in verse 33. He who received his testimony is the latter who believe truly that God is true. He who does not receive his testimony, the latter takes God as a liar. He received the truthful one as a liar. Because it's uh, the one that has been put aside and sanctified to reveal his uh, word. God gave him everything plainly. Verse 35 said, Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. He who does not obey the Son shall not see life. But something will happen. The latter will receive the wrath of God. The one who didn't do what? The one who doesn't believe the name of the Son the deed of the son will receive the wrath of God. If there is something and different from this one and you are listening to this one in those times recognize automatically it's a, a liar. This is what God sent to us. This is what we should believe in before getting salvation. After receiving, all his deeds, all his work are working on favor on both all those things. And we recognize that God's Son has come here with uh, his power. Men but there is something when we do not hear. But you should keep in mind. The evil spirit that we call Satan tried to discuss human beings from God. He won't allow you to receive strictly the truth of God as we receive it. Today. He used to send trouble in your heart. He who reprimand him through prayers is the latter only who will receive victory. Those 
the believer. Let us believe and receive the gospel of God as it is expressed and forget about any other words coming from elsewhere. Father loves his son so much and gave him all things and commanded that everything we want to ask through the name of Jesus, let us ask them in order not to receive blockage from our prayers. If someone gives you another name and you receive it, it's your problem. You are still bearing your own blood because we have shown you the truth before you, you didn't stay firm. You have become the one who should be condemned. He who doesn't receive the son is already condemned. But he who received him, believe me, is not condemned. This is this great grace that God do to us. May each of us be in this grace. We don't have any other name unless but for Jesus Christ through which we can receive everything we ask. Does this word abide in your Bible? Read it regularly. By night, read it. When you have rest, instead of gossiping from time to time, from place to place, read it. He who comes to you, preach the gospel to him. In order to make him come to the light. In order to keep it, keep it in your heart. Till the advent of Jesus Christ. In a little while. In, in a little while, he who descended and no one didn't see him and he acted on this earth, a little while later, he will ascend it and he is at the end. We will see him clearly. All the eyes will see him. Everybody will see him. Because, because the Bible so clearly that he will come and everybody will see him, even those who pierce him, his uh, sight, they will see him and they will start wailing, crying, shouting. We have received Jesus Christ, and uh, he who doesn't have a guide is lost. But we here, we have a guide, and he's there to show the way. He who doesn't have a guide, but the Lord has sent the shepherd, the guide, the one who will guide us and lead us to the eternal life. So blessed are those who will stand in his word at his advent. He who doesn't wait, there will be a very distress over the life. God doesn't want someone to be sad at that day. That's why he sent the Savior to the whole world. And his message, 
his gospel has become subject of discussion because they don't want to receive him. Each of us are quarreling, discussing over this, and on behalf of his boss, it's his own brother at that time. How many days you have around here? But here is the elect of the Lord. Here is the son of the Lord. It's someone in whom in whose hand everything abides. He who has knowledge to follow him. In order to be saved. May Jesus be with you.
Thank you.